I really didn't think that I was going to change my initial cash lineup. But with certain news coming out later this week, um, I think I'm going to change it slightly. So if you haven't watched my first video this week on NFL DraftKings cash lineup, uh, go back and watch that. I'll explain everything there. I'm going to briefly run through th some things right now. So for cash lineups, I like to go pretty running back heavy. You got to go with Zeke. He's going to be the child kids play. And rightfully so. And I'm kind of questioning the Marlon Mack pick right now. I really do think the Colts are going to throw all over the Chiefs. The Marlon Mack doesn't really catch out of the backfield. and make it easier if you grab five or six passes out of the backfield. He might grab two at best. But I think like the Colts should score at least four touchdowns, right? Like, they could very well score six touchdowns. And it's not um, uh, like a pipe dream to think that Marlon Mack can't get 100 yards rushing with the rushing bonus and score a touchdown to get, like, 19, 20 points. So that's where... If you don't think he can, then I would look into James White in this position to score like at least 15 and be, I think James White is a 4900 be $900 cheaper. But I think I'm going to stick with my high volume running backs here. As long as the Colts don't get down by like three touchdowns, I think they're going to run Marlon Mack a lot. Here's a big change. Ty Gurley is healthy. Completely healthy. No injury de designation. You have to play him. I don't think he's going to be that chalk, that chalky this week. Because, especially in cash games and tournaments, he might be. But Dallas, you know, has a good run game, but that's not all how he gets his yards and touchdowns. You know, he had 34 points against the Eagles, who also, had a good, who also have a good run defense. He only had 12 carries. 34 points. This stat line could very well be a stat line Saturday night. He just had to play him. I don't have a problem playing him because I'm um, a huge Rams fan and I love watching them play. I've been watching this game and I'm, you know, I have to, I'm going to cheer on Gurley regardless of what happened or not. It would just be awesome if I have him and he does really well. Win win situation. Now, quarterback, you know, it all involves in game script, but I think Andrew Luck. I think both Mac and Luck will have a high volume. Like Andrew Luck may throw for five touchdowns and be and be the number one uh, quarterback this week. If you have money, yeah, I'd probably spin up to Mahomes, but that Colts defense is really good. But I could see this game as being a shootout, like a thirty-eight to thirty-five type of shootout. Or a 31-28. But uh, I have no problem playing any luck here in KC. So he's got a... I'm going to keep with Inman here. He's Luck's favorite target. And if Luck goes off, Inman will probably go off too. Same goes for Ebron. I like Blake Jarwin. If Blake Jarwin was completely healthy, I think I'd play him against the Rams. But he's not completely healthy. Like, he might play, but... Well, if he only plays like 50% of the snaps or less. So, Eric Brown will be out there the whole time. Here's where it gets a little tricky here. Uh, well, actually, let me go back to Gallup. I like playing Gallup here against the Rams. Just going to get the pie Marcus Peters. I think he can own Marcus Peters. As a Rams fan, hopefully not, but... For, for, like, a fantasy, I think he can own him. Now, we had Robert Woods here. But to get up to Gurley, we got to spin a little bit down. I was thinking, even though Robert Woods is lined up in the slot, wouldn't it make sense for, for one, the Cowboys to put Byron Jones on Brandon Cooks? But why would you 
put your third corner back on Robert Woods. Why don't you put your second corner back on? I mean, the regular season, yeah, get away with th putting your third corner back on, the slot corner back. But wouldn't you, in the playoffs, want to win a game on the road, put your second best corner back on the Rams' second best receiver? I think they do. So, that means Josh Reynolds should draw the third cornerback of the Cowboys. Goff has really good chemistry with Reynolds. Throws touchdowns with him. A one or two touchdown game is not out of the question. I think um, also, too, I, you know, the Saints nickel uh, slot cornerback is really terrible. But out of Aguilar and Golden Tate, who's going to get the slot? Are they going to share it? Like, one of them usually will go off or have a good game. How can you predict who's going to have that good game? If Golden Tate sits out, if he sits out, then I'm playing Nelson Aguilar. No questions asked. But they're both playing. I, I don't want to have to pick which Eagles receiver is going to get... Uh, a lot of passes thrown his way, catch a lot of passes. I don't want to guess which Eagles receiver is going to have a great game. It could be any of them. Like, trying to pick an Eagles receiver to have a good game is probably worse than trying to pick a Rams receiver at this point. So, Josh Reynolds, I had a Chargers defense. I might stick with them. Like, a good GPP defense will be the Colts. But I have the money to spend up for the Rams at home. Great pass rush. Might get a lot of sacks on Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott may throw a pick or two. The Rams have a chance to run it back. Playoff time. If the Rams defense don't get up for this game, you know, then I mean I don't see that happening. I see the defense getting up for this game and playing well. So here's my updated. Cash lineup, Andrew Luck, Zeke, Marlon Mack, Inman, Gallup, Reynolds, Ebron, Gurley, and the Rams. D, it might be too many Colts. Might be too much exposure to the Rams-Cowboys game. Um, and not enough Chiefs players on this roster. But there's only four games to pick from. This cash lineups will probably be kind of low scoring, probably. So I don't have a problem with this. That's my two cents. Let me know if you have any uh, comments, questions, problems, solutions, haikus, anything of that sort. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the subscriptions and likes. Let's win this money tomorrow and Sunday. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.